Hi, my name is Annika. Welcome to my channel. Well, I have to clean up my garden. I don't dare to show you my garden before, but I have to clean it up and then I show you the garden bed by garden bed. What I have uh, in my garden and what I'm supposed to grow in my garden. And you can start a herb garden in 2021 if you want to. It's very late, it's middle of May, and it's very late to start a herb garden. But when the winter is hanging on to the middle of April, you have no choice than to wait until the winter is gone. And now the winter is gone, the summer is here, so let's start working, right? Now I have cleaned up my garden bed and I've taken off the old leaves and uh, weed out the plant beds. And I'm going to get you through all the plant beds that I have. In this plant bed, I have stinging nettle. It's a great medicinal herb. And if you are into medicinal herbs, uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, press the bell button and if you have any questions and comments do leave the comments and questions in the section field below and here I have my echinacea and here is several plant beds that is uh, nothing in but I have plans for them this is empty this is empty this is empty and there I have my ladies mantle in this plant bed. I have ladies mantle. In this plant bed, I will remove my uh, hemp agrimony from another plant bed into this plant bed. And here I have valerian. And here I'm going to sow hembane. Uh, I haven't sown them yet. I am very late this year in the garden, but I'm going to sow hembane here. And here I had a pokeweed, but I'm going to sow something different in here. This is a plant bed. It's empty. And this is the area where I put my chair and my table. And I can sit out here in my herb garden and drinking coffee and just enjoy my herb garden. And here I had a weed here. I thought it was an herb, but it was a weed. And the weed is called consciousness. And if you have seen this in your garden, remove it because it's a very aggressive weed. So you have to remove it. So this is an empty plant bed. This is an empty plant bed as well. I have plans for all my empty plant beds this year. And this is the plant bed where I have chamomile. I haven't sown them yet, but I'm going to. And uh, this is where I have my goat's room. It's 
It's a beautiful herb. And here I had my lavage, but I moved my lavage to the stone wall over here. As you can see, I will show you. I have five plants with lavage. One, two, three, four, five. And they are getting big. They are up to this height. So I'm going to think, so I'm going to make a hedge out of lavage. So I think it's going to be awesome. And here I have my St. Johnsworth. It's a beautiful herb. And here I will sow fenugreek. It's a one year plant, so I have to sow them every year, but I don't mind. And over here, I have several plant beds. Here I have a single flower that I will move to another part of my garden and plant uh, a medicinal herb. If you are into medicinal herbs and uh, gardening, just press the subscribe button. I think it's down here somewhere. Just press it, it don't cost you anything, but it will help me immensely. And this is my hemp agrimony. And this plants, I will move to this bigger plant bed over here, back there. And here I have Fiu Fiu. This is a great medicinal plant for headaches and migraine. And here I moved my yarrow from a small plant bed over there into here because I want to have it in a bigger plant bed. And here in this plant bed, I have my motherwort. And one, two, three, four. This one didn't survive the winter, so I will remove it. But I have four uh, Siberian motherwort. And here I have Coast Mary. Uh, I've never been able to uh, pick Coast Mary because the ants have taken over the plants. But this year, I think I might have beaten them. Uh, so this year I might do some uh, medicinal remedy with Costmary. And this is, was my old plant uh, with yarrow. I moved them into this plant bed. But this is uh, destined to be something else medicinal herb. And here is my hyssop plant bed. Uh, I have my old hyssop plant bed over here, but I moved the hyssop that I had in this plant bed, I moved into this plant bed. And uh, here I have the lovage that I moved, and here I have the wormwood. And I will make a video about wormwood uh, soon, but not right now. And here I have my chive. I just love chive, just fresh and dried. Here I have an empty plant bed. And here I have an empty plant bed behind my rhubarb. And I just love rhubarb. I love rhubarb hive. So that's why I have two giant rhubarb plants over here. And here I have my lungwort. I did make a lungwort oil, but it's not ready just yet, but soon it will be ready and I will make a video about that. And here I have my uh, marshmallow. Uh, I have two plants of marshmallow and I have two plants of uh, mugwort here but the mugwort I will remove and get rid of because it's a very aggressive plant but the um, marshmallow I will put in a plant bed over here here I have a plant bed with my, uh, marshmallow I have one two three four five marshmallow plants here and I will remove those two into this plant bed. 
And this is my chime. And here I have my wild thyme. It's a beautiful herb. It smells divine. And it's great if you're seasoning uh, food, but I use it as a tea. And here I have an empty plant bed and my rhubarb, of course. And also I have a calendula. I have a calendula in my garden. And this is the plant bed where I have calendula. I have a lot of calendula over here. It's a long plant bed with calendula. I do make calendula ointment, so if you're interested to buy, you can go onto my homepage. And I do have a plant, a small plant bed with horseradish over here. Uh, just a small plant. This area is for wild thyme. I'm going to move my wild thyme over here, but that will be another year. And this is where I keep my lemon balm. It's a beautiful, beautiful plant to have, but you have to restrict it because it's going to take over the whole garden. But lemon balm, mm, it's perfect. And on each side of this gravel path, I do have lavender. Uh, this is old lavender. It's more than five years old. I was supposed to change it this year, but I only got two lavender plants, so they have to be another year. But this side I changed about two, three years ago. So, uh, well, it's going to sit on this side for about five, eight years. And then I will remove them and put in uh, new plants. This is all I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, you have the button over there. And I see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.